what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are back with some more vikings because i was a mess <laughs> in that last reaction we're finally back and i have to say man i really 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 miss luck i i really do like even when i went back and watched a couple of reactions on youtube of it because i was like am i the only one that felt like that but yes, some people have re reassured me in the comments that I was not alone. And by far, I think, you know, every reaction that I've seen of that episode on YouTube, everybody was like, I saw some people trying hard to hold back the tears, but it, it you know what I mean? Like, you grew up with those characters, no matter if I'm binge watching the show or we're watching it week by week, you have, you have s that same connection with basically all the characters. So it's like, you don't know it, in certain ways, like you can't, there's no other way to feel about it unless you're just a tough sob that just doesn't care you know what i mean like but if you are a fan of vikings you 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 are shedding tears for lagatha they they did that episode was so well done the funeral was so well done you know and the speech that bjorn gave man is just it's heartbreaking but at the same time you know it was very heartbreaking the way how he did that speech, the the words he said, the way how he said it. He was trying to be strong, but at the same time, he just couldn't hold out any longer. You know what I mean? He, he heard his voice crack multiple times during the speech, you know, and he vowed vengeance. So I don't know how he's going to do what's going to happen. Is Vitzer going to confess how a Bjorn is going to figure figure it out, you know. I think I think Vitzirk is going to confess. You know, I think I think he's going to confess one way or another. I think they're going to figure out that it's him, and he's going to have to confess. So I don't know what's going to happen on Ivar's side of things. You know, there's a lot of speculation can go around for that. Um, now that Shetler is back home. You know, is he going to head back to Heisland? Um, that's another thing that Bjorn needs to do, too, to find out if Floki's alive or dead. Um, I mean, it, it, it's just, basically, it's just him and Floki that's still alive in the show that was, like, from day one. You know what I mean? Because, basically, all the main cast is gone, except for them. Everybody else is pretty much new or dead, you know. So from the main cast, which was, you know, Ragnar, um, Bjorn, Floki. Um, I, I would say Torvi's original character too, even though, they, I don't. Yeah, I would say Torvi, Torvi's or, original character too. I would say, because she was in the show show for. A long time she's been in the show for a long time so I, I would definitely say because she and um she i don't remember what season torvi came in but i'm gonna say she's an og character too um so it would be bjorn floki um and torvi right everybody else is pretty much new we all know that ragnar's sons they were in the show but i don't consider them to be og characters because they kind of had the time skip and all that stuff like but they're more newer characters but they've become kind of you know a staple in the show now if you want to call it that but i wouldn't consider them og like from season one characters i pretty, pretty much everybody from season one is dead except um except bjorn and floki uh because they say floki ain't dead are they saying floki is dead i don't know so it would only be bjorn so I don't think anybody else from season one is still alive. The seer is dead. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, let's get to the episode. See you guys for the review.
all right what's going on guys welcome back this is my season six review um well not the entire season but first half because there's still i don't know how many episodes are left because i'm like okay you kill bior now what's next What are you going to do for the second half of the season? You killed off Bjorn and Lagatha in the first half of the season. I don't get it. But uh, I guess I'm going to have to see it when it comes out. But anyways, I took the time out to finish these three episodes because um, it was intriguing. It was intriguing. I love the storylines, except for the stuff that I complained about, of course. Um, the ending just didn't make sense to me. It's still boggling my mind of why they would do it like that okay we saw that so you're trying to tell me that Ivar was still on the beach I don't understand how did he get back on the beach that don't make any sense because he was climbing the wall they can't Ivar could have never gotten down there that quick that's why it's confusing to me because I never thought he was down there with beyond them because it didn't make sense you get what I'm saying? Like, unless they didn't portray that properly, but let's just say they did. Okay. And my, my more worry more than anything else, because the thing about Bjorn is that Bjorn is not the type of character that I'm going to shed tears over because you get what I'm trying to say. He didn't get a, a sending off like everybody else. They didn't make it all sad and gloomy. He died in battle. You get what I'm saying? It's sad to see him go if he actually if he actually died. I don't know because it was so weird how they filmed that. But it is what it is. You got to accept it. If he died, he died. But if he didn't die, you know what I'm saying? Then we'll see him back for the second half of the season. That's what I'm saying. I'm not really sure about what happened because it didn't make it didn't really make sense. Did they win or did they not win? It seems like they won. They were celebrating and stuff. Um, so what's the second half of the season is going to be about? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, if they took the kingdom, look like King Harold is dead too. I mean, seriously, what's the second half of the season going to be about? Why should I? If <laughs> Anyways, as I said, I don't have much to say here. It's going to be a really small review. The only thing I have to say is that it definitely dropped. See, the... the the um those first seven episodes were the creme de la creme of of this season beyond that these three episodes i just watched other than them continuing the story this last episode was it was all over the place i get it the invasion came they had to defend themselves we get that part of it what i'm saying is the part that doesn't make sense to me is that there's a second half of the season to come what the hell is that going to be about if you kill bjorn you get what I'm trying to say? What's that going to be about? I mean, now with Bjorn gone, they could easily take Kattegat. They could easily take everything else. So, there's got to be something missing here. There's something missing. <laughs> there's something missing here. I don't want to give Season 6 a rating right now. I'm not going to give it a rating. Because I'm not sure about what's going on. King Harrow rape um bjorn's you know other wife before he left um if they were trying to make us sad about everything well they sure did a damn good job is all i'm saying i mean and if they were trying to make us sad and unsure i mean they they let gunhill lose her baby right they let the other wife get raped they let Bjorn get killed. We don't know for sure what's going on over in um, in Iceland. We haven't seen anything about England in a while. So I don't, I'm pretty sure they're probably not going to touch that storyline again. In Frankia where Rolo is, they're not saying nothing about that. And this whole Rus versus Vikings thing that is going on right now you know, is the second half of the season. The only thing I can think of what they were trying to do is to, for those episodes, we're going to see how Ivar 
takes over, I guess, and gets, you know, takes out Prince Oleg. I guess that's what the second half is going to be about. But we don't want it to be about that because that's going to be a dumb thing. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, if that's what they're trying to do, I probably won't watch the second half of the season because I don't want to see that. If you killed off Bjorn, there's no more character left. Which classic character is left? Floki is presumably dead. So there's no more OG characters left on the show. None. Zero. Zilch. So you kill off all these characters that we've come to know and love. If you like Ivar, then I guess you like Ivar. I don't particularly like him. You know what I'm saying? I tolerate him because they're trying to make him into this main character of the show. So it's okay. He's good. Acting is brilliant. But at the same time, as a character, I don't like him. You know what I mean? I don't like him. Vitzer, even worse. I don't like his character either. You know, as a character in the show, like him does... He's so wishy-washy as a character. It's like, you don't know, you don't know. I thought he was going to make a huge turnaround because of this situation. Like, he would have went and fought, found Buddha in his all oh, thing or whatever the situation is. And he would just, like, fade out, you know, for the rest of the show. But no. He finds Ivar and now attacking, you know, the capital. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. I don't know what to think. I'm literally sitting here talking to you guys, and I don't know what to think. Because this is what I'm trying to say with, with Vikings. Like, episode 8, really good episode. Right? 9, I would give, I, I would give episode 9, you know, other than the stuff that they were doing in the beginning of the episode, where they, the marriage and stuff, that I, that's not something I want to see right now. And that's not something that they should be concentrating on right now. But they wanted to set up that to lead into the, the rape. Which, you get what I'm trying to say? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. You know? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But in any case, um, I don't. as I said, I don't want to give the season a rating right now. Um... You know, but those first seven episodes were good. They were good. You know, they weren't all encompassing great, but they were good episodes. Especially episode seven was very well done, very well filmed. Um, aesthetics were good. Aesthetic for this show is always good. You know what I'm saying? It's always a 10 out of 10 with this. Thing. They knock that shit out of the park. You know what I'm saying? Make me want to be a Viking just by looking at these dudes. How, you know what I mean? So... But story-wise, it's still a bit confusing how they ended it. In episode 10, I get it. The battle was going on. I was watching it. I was excited to to see it. But at the same time, it was like how they ended those last like three minutes of the episode with Bjorn getting killed just didn't make sense. It just come very abruptly. And it wasn't like no showdown, no nothing. He just let him get stabbed and that's it. Like, it was just weird. It was just weird how they decided to do it. But it is what it is. I will be back, hopefully, for the second half of the season whenever it comes out. Just remind me and let me know. But for now, I'm very confused as to what's happening. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. And hopefully you guys will subscribe if you are new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. I'm out. Peace.